Hi everyone, Scott here with an Aperture Experience for you. Uh, today is all about workflow. Uh, the workflow blogs were very popular in 2012, and I thought it would be good to post a few videos and show you know, how I go through bringing photos into Aperture in the process of my workflow. Um, yours will be different. Yours will be unique to you, and uh, one of the wonderful things about Aperture is you can really tailor the workflow to how you like to work, how your brain operates, uh, you know, how you think, and how you, you know, want to work with your photos. Uh, this really is uh, you know, a pictorial live version of what you may have read on my blog posts. Uh, today um, I'll go through importing and rating. And uh, you know, another uh, their post probably deal with the keywording, uh, and you know, identifying locations. So um, I will say that none of this has been scripted. I went on a shoot later, than, you know, uh, late in the day today, and you know, got a bunch of photos. Uh, so this may be rough on the edges, but you know, hey, that's that's you know how it is. There's you know, nothing is ever perfectly run through, and. When even you're working in your own workflow, you may have to jump around a bit. Um, so let me uh, let me just get into it. We'll start with uh, with importing some photos. So here we go. So we'll start with our import tab. Now I'll stipulate the only thing I've done here is I have dragged the pictures off the camera and onto the hard drive just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, and I've you know, dumped them in this Aperture Experiences folder. So a bunch of uh, photos I took at Santa Cruz uh, Natural Bridges State Beach today. Uh, first time I've been there. It's a, a really lovely place. Um, if you're ever in the uh, the Bay Area, um, it's maybe a 30 to 40 minute drive from San Jose, and it's well worth the visit. Uh, so um, today I have only these pictures on my camera. Sometimes I'll have multiple shoots uh, or, you know, pictures of the family interspersed with, you know, a, a previous day's outing. I tend to keep things on my camera until I know that I have them both on my main system and they've been backed up on my time machine system, you know, making sure that the, the images exist in two places at minimum all the time. So right now these images exist on my laptop and in my camera. Because of that, I wanted to show you one thing. Uh, since I may not always be importing all photos, I'll usually do an uncheck, and you can click and drag across a set of photos, and by hitting the checkbox on any one, the entire set that was selected becomes selected for you know importing, in this case, 15 new files. For this particular instance, I will be bringing everything in. So I'll do a check all, and I've got 144 shots from this afternoon. So there's gonna be a lot to uh, a lot to dig through here. I'll give the project a name. Uh, I will call this Santa Cruz 2013. Uh, I'm not uh, going to be doing anything referenced. This is my uh, my mobile platform, uh, my MacBook. So everything will be a uh, managed library. So I'm not worrying about this, and I'm not doing anything with renaming the versions. Uh, I'll deal with that when I finish my adjustments uh, or I'm ready to export this library and merge it into my main Aperture library on my Mac Pro. Uh, so uh, there's blog posts about the um, exporting, importing, merge process, so you can check those out for details. What I will do is the uh, metadata preset. So I've got a preset called Basic Import Info, and I have these you know fields that get uh, shown to me here. Now the, the first set are pre-populated. I know that you know 99 times out of 100 I'm the person that took the picture and this is where I live. Uh, but for the remainder, um, you know where I took the picture, um, that's usually different. So I'll populate those things. Um, rating I tend not to play with unless I'm importing only you know, a handful of shots and I know that I like them or, uh, um, well, if I don't like them, I suppose I wouldn't be importing them. And lastly is uh, setting my label. So for me, red means it's the start of my workflow. Uh, the images need to be rated. So let me uh, click import checked and we'll let that crank a bit. And while that happens, um, I'll just you know come back when this is done and we'll move on to the next step. 
All right, so the images are in. Uh, 144 of them, so uh, a lot to walk through as far as rating is going. Now, granted, these um, this will be relatively easy because a lot of the shots were setting up, trying out a couple of different compositions, um, and uh, I did have the uh, the notion of taking shots before the sunset and leading into the sunset in case I needed to do any uh, any blending, um, but the uh, the tides had a different uh, agenda. The tides started rolling in, and so you know very quickly my tripod legs were you know in water. You know I'm up to my knees in uh, in the surf, and I had to keep adjusting the tripod because the sand was shifting and you know the the tripod's moving around. So uh, a lot of the early shots will just be you know ultimately probably just throw them away. But uh, you know as I was walking up to the state beach, uh, let's see. I will um, I will rate using the the grid view here, you know, the browser view. Um, and if you know I can't tell from the photo if I need to look at it a little more deeply, then I'll I'll pop it open. But this one, you know, I you know I kind of like it. So I'm, I'm hitting three, you know, one, two, three, four, five on the keyboard, and then command, uh, in my case, command two to set the label to orange, which tells me that you know my workflow that I need to to keyword, you know, to remind folks of what my workflow looks like, you know, here's my labels. I need a rating, a keyword, and I go all the way through this. Um, so, you know, right now I'm going through rating, so everything red I need to rate, and once I've rated it, I'll pop it over to the orange color. So, um, walking up to the the beach area, I kind of don't like that that much. This one's all right, but I can see some lens flare here. There may be something I can do with it. Um, I think I like the composition on that one a little better. Now the main thing was taking a photo of you know the natural bridge, the arches here. What I was after is emphasis on the sky, wanting the the sunset to be there. Um, I didn't want people in the shot if I could avoid it. I can see someone walking here, and I wanted the reflection, uh, you know, in the the wet sand in the front. So that's what I'm looking for as I go through this. So you know, very quickly. Um, I'm going to go through, and anything that really has a person in it, I'm just going to you know flat out reject with a nine. So I can see this has got a person in it. A lot of these are HDR brackets, um, so you're going to see me you know getting rid of these in groups of you know multiples. Like that was like six shots. That tends to be what I can do uh, reliably with my uh, my D7000, um, which allows me to do three brackets, and by a couple of the saved user modes, I can do six without really having to touch the camera very much at all. But again, I've got a person in this shot, and you know, even though I'm rejecting it, it's not deleted, it's not disappearing, so I could always go back and look for it if I needed to. So again, there's another set I don't care for. This um, isn't too bad. The sky is starting to get a little bit of some interesting clouds in it. I don't have a person in this shot. Uh, I've got some decent reflection there. Let me pop on my info tab so I can see what my exposure compensation is. So that, you know, two, and then I did a, let's see, it looks like I did some zeros. So I think for for the this set, I'll have that as a three. I'll probably do something with that. Um, these ones. And not so much. These, yeah, kind of more of the same. Here, uh, I lost the reflection. That's gone. I've got a person. That's gone. I've got something in the way here. Oh, that might be the waves crashing up against it. Um, yeah, not bad. Maybe do something with that. So I'll give it a two. I don't lose it. Um, again, this was like more test shots. This one's pretty nice, actually, because it's got a nice leading line. Of the surf rolling in, and it's a little a little better than this one. So again, I'll give that a three. Um, these are just more more play shots, really. I'm not seeing anything very exciting here. People. So with those ones, I'm going to reject. You can see I'm, I'm pretty brutal when it comes to rejecting. I I don't tend to keep things lying around very much. Here's another bracket. Um, looks like what I did here. I did the negative one to one, and then a negative two to two. Uh, I've got a decent reflection there, so we'll make those threes. Something you know, I'll actually you know kind of leak into my next step, which is stacking. For HDR stuff, I tend to stack all the brackets together. So um, while I'm trying to be a little more meticulous in you know rate, then keyword, then stack, since I'm going through this. Uh, 
and collectively label or reading these the same. Sometimes I will actually do a Command K, stack them right now since I'm doing it, and then do a Shift K just to collapse that stack, and move it out of my way. Uh, but I won't do that for the rest of these here. There's another set, uh, roughly about the same. This guy is starting to do a little bit more. We'll keep those orange. I just said I wasn't going to stack, and I just did. Sorry, guys. Um, this one, yeah, you know, it's kind of more of the same. I'm not getting too excited about that set. Let's reject those. Um, now we're starting to get into a little more, a little more play in the skies, and so now I'm, I'm kind of, I'm paying attention to my darker exposures because those have a lot more texture in the sky, and I can more quickly tell. Um, I think I like this set more. I've got the leading line there, a little more reflection. This one started to get bleated in a little bit. So I think I'll grab this set of six, do that, and then this was like I take a set of three, and then another set of three. I'm going to reject those. All right, let's see. Now we're starting to get closer to when the sun really started to go down. All right, we've got... I'm going to skim ahead here. I'm mainly doing that because I'm looking at how long I've been recording, and I know I'm going to have some challenges uploading this to YouTube. So um, now here's some interesting stuff. As the sun started to set, so the sun in these pictures here is off to the right, and I would just pan the camera around to get some you know quick images of you know, a really beautiful sky like that one. I really like. And that's a negative two. Zero, two, so let's get those as fours. Do that. So four, I'm going to jump on that right away. And then I immediately panned back, and I got two, zero, two, and then one, negative one, one. I'm watching this as I toggle through, you know, so you can see as I go through from two, that set there. Again, that's a four. I'm going to mark those as orange. Um, this also looks like another good set here and here. Let me take a look at the reflections. Um, the reflections look a little better in this set than the previous one. Mm, that's going to be a tough one to decide on. So for now, we'll go those. Those will all be threes. This is just fantastic at a beautiful clouds there. Get that as a four. And I recall one other set. Yeah, here they are. I had to, uh, again, you know, turn to pan the camera around, and it happened to be, you know, some of the surfers coming in from their their uh, their outing. I liked the two, uh, the negative two, or sorry, the negative ones. That's one I think maybe the negative two, because it really got the richness of that. And the only thing that was really blacked out was some of the, um, the rocks off to the side. I liked the silhouette. On the, uh, on the person. But for all of those, I'm going to mark those as fours because I know I want to go and process those. Uh, after that, I'm kind of, kind of more of the same. This group definitely looks bad. The, the positive two got totally washed out, so get rid of that. And anything else jumping out at me good reflection-wise? Mm, this batch, yeah, and so this, this wave came in kind of messed me up there a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. So the reason I'm skipping around is, you know, my very next thing is once I've gone through and rated, I will go back and annotate these as probably threes or eventually, you know, weed them out and get rid of them once I've got my keepers. So that's um that's my, my quick view of, uh, of how I do rating. Um, I tend to be, you know, more brutal, particularly on a shoot like this where, you know, it's Ultimately, this is a rock in the ocean, and I, you know, I took 100 pictures of it. I don't need 100 pictures of it. I need, you know, one really good one.